Hi, I'd like to show you today how to upload media or video to your class. Uh, the first thing you do is turn the editing on up here in the top corner. And then scroll down to the block you want to be working in. Now I'm going to add something to my week one and I'm going to choose adding a page and I'll show you why I'm going to do it that way. So number one, let's give it a name and I'll call it my video, my video, fine. And I won't put, I never put descriptions in or content. Uh, the content I do put in actually, but where am I going to get that content? I'm going to go to my uh, own list of videos that I've made for my Linguistics 10 class. And I'm going to click on Linguistics 10. That's the playlist name. And I can share my introduction video with you. There it is. But how am I going to share that? I need some kind of information to put into my class. And what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to take, is I'm going to use this copy embed code that's down over here at the bottom of the screen. I'll click on that. And now it's all already automatically copied to my clipboard. Let's go back to my class. Editing the page up here. Here we go. And I'm going to click on my HTML source link over here, like that. And now I'll insert that code right in there. I'll update it. And my video, there it is, will appear and just there it is, all ready to go, my introduction. I'm going to display this page name. I'll show it. Uh, I don't bother with any of these restrict access and I don't use activity completion in this case. And I'll save and return to the course. Now let's just take a look and see. I put it under the label. I can always move things around later. But here it is. Welcome to our class. And our class is a grammar class, so maybe first you should be... Uh... Okay. So there you have it. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, I chose this video because actually my class is about syntax. And that's the arrangement of words and phrases in a sentence. And this particular video is the introduction to that class. It is a closed captioned video, so it's fully accessible. You can see here, I just click on that. And then the video has the subtitles here on the bottom. Uh, I don't have any problems with intellectual property because actually I created this video. It belongs to me. And it fits perfectly with the design of my class because that's what my class does is it has videos to explain and to give lectures on syntax. So you can always review this video a few times if you want to make sure that you know how to do it. But basically, it's quite simple to add a class or to add media to your classes. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks.